It's Melinda. Hi. As part of our kit collaboration with Eileen, we've decided to show you how we start with a kit. Now, I, I approach this in many different ways. And today, I picked a photo that was on my desk that I had printed a while ago. And I'm going to use that. And I have the papers still laid out from the kit share. And I'm trying to figure out which one I will use. Now, I'm drawn to this one because my photo is dark and this is light. And it's one of my favorite papers in this kit. It kind of looks watercolory, but these are all flowers on the sides, which is so not my thing. So I'm really in love with this paper, but my mind goes two ways. Do I want to use it first? Because what if I find a better photo or a better story that I want to use with it? Or do I throw caution to the wind and say, yes, this is my favorite paper and I'm going to write my first story on it. That's my quandary. So I waffle back and forth, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I absolutely love this paper and I could think of so many so many layouts that I would love to use it with but I only use it on one layout one time and do I want it to be on this photo the photo is large and it takes up a lot of the space and then if I add layers around it it's going to cover up most of the paper which I guess is what it's supposed to do right My other instinct is to bring in white cardstock so I don't use up too much of my paper at the beginning. And I can build layers with it. But that, that requires me to cut into these papers. The other quandary. So today, I'm going to go with white cardstock. and build with layers. I'm going to go to my Pinterest board and decide on maybe a sketch or a scrap lift to get me started. I know I have a large photo and I'm going to keep it large because I can't really crop much of it off. I have settled on this sketch and I will link it below so without further ado I'm going to stick you on fast forward and let you see how this comes out I'm going to pull all the papers off and decide that I need this one for the strips. I'm going to cut the photo down as much as I can, which isn't much. I need to back this photo in white, but I realized that the color of this paper is going to match this ink, so I pull that out. Now I save all scraps of white, even ones that I don't think are going to be useful because I'm going to piece this together and you're not going to really be able to tell when the photo is matted with other layers. All I really need is a corner piece and I make it work. Sorry for my head. Now if you look real close, you can see that it's two pieces, but they're both the same exact paper and they're white and you can't really tell. Now I decide that this black or this darker side is going to be my long thin strip that goes across. I just rip it with my ruler. 
and I think it'll pair beautifully with the other side of this. And I'm going to cut that a little bit wider. And I'm just ripping it for size, not even measuring. I'm going to pull out some things from the ephemera pack and some will get used and some will not. I really need to dump this onto a big platter so that I can dig easier. I'm looking for things that are kind of that rosy color. Now that half heart, half magenta colored heart is clear and I want to use it because it's a heart, but honestly, you can't really tell that it's a heart ever. I'm going to place that thing in lots of places, but it's not going to get used. I think if I peel this off, I might be able to tell that it's a heart. Because it's clear acetate on one quarter of it, you, you miss the heart part. I decide on the title, and I'm going to jump ahead because this is going to take a while for all these words. The title is Hashtag Fur Grandbaby. And it's going to go right where I've laid it. Now I want more layers, so I think this is the perfect opportunity to use these square doilies. I'm going to have to have two because I need a rectangle. And I'm just going to staple them together. I'm going to try to use some of these word strips from the Maggie Holmes sticker page. I pull off the ones that I think I'm going to use and stick them to the wax paper so I don't forget to use them. I decide that I want another layer and the larger striped full sheet paper won't work so I did pull from my extra stash that would go with this kit for this one. I just made sure there was I cut on a black stripe so I didn't lose it in the white stripe. I want a circle and this is too small but not by much. So I'm going to slow this down just a touch so I can show you what I do. I lay the width of the washi tape and I use that. It gives me another maybe half an inch as a guideline. And I'm going to sew it three times around. So it's never going to be completely on that line. I decide that this needs to go down now. I've committed to where the circle is and where the lines of paper are going to go, so it's time to start committing. This one goes all the way across, and this one's going to go centered, and the photo's off-centered, so that works. I'm going to use fun foam. Fun foam and then score tape, because it really needs to stick. More fun foam because the layout is pretty darn flat, so I'll use this to bump it all up. The hexagon is going to stay for a bit in the beginning of the title. This is the washi tape that I have in my extra stash. I'm going to rip it so the ripped edge is what is the bottom. I'm just going to stick it underneath this bottom layer. And then in my second cluster at the top, I'm going to stick some up there. Couldn't get it straight. I'm going to try with that heart again, that darn heart. I decide to sprinkle now, and I don't get the look I want, so I try. I want big splatters, and I'm not getting them. It's so thick it doesn't want to drip, even when I touch it down. I get impatient, and I let it go. I'm going to come back and add some more, but I don't ever get the big drops that I want. I'm going to dry it off. I'm going to commit the XOXO to the top and staple this love up there. I'm going to hang it off the edge and cut it off later. Just staple it. 
I'm going to commit to the photo. And I'm going to I'm going to commit to this hexagon, but it goes on crooked. And with that glue dot does not want to move. I think if I lay the title down, it'll be okay. It drives me nuts and I go back to it repeatedly. I put the hello lovely at the top of the photo and I know I want grateful for this down below, but I need something else down there. I'm looking for that darn heart. I lost it. I think I want, I want hearts, but that's the only one I can find in the color I want. I do find it, but again, it just doesn't work. I'm going to pull the arrows out. I need the gray one. They're going to go there to kind of beef up the title. I decide that a flare badge will be what I put down there. And then I don't like the flare badge with the hexagon competes. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to get the hashtag from the thicker pad. I'm going to commit to the grateful for you down there. I decide I need more of this washi tape on this side of the photo to carry that color through. These flare badges are hollow inside and I put two small squares of fun foam and then a dimensional zot to stick it down. This is where my hearts are going to come in. I'm going to grab the core hearts and they are very delicate. Once they're down, they're hard to remove. Very carefully, I can slide it. I rip another one when I put it down here. I decide to put three down here in the corner. I see this one right here, I rip and go, nope, that's gonna stay, okay. I'm gonna do a little more sprinkling. I gotta peel the covering off these and I'm trying to figure out if I can stay. I want to staple them down, but there's no way I, I'm going to get my staple gun to go that far. So I try to put adhesive only under the colored parts. It doesn't quite work, but it's all right. I'm going to trim that up. The side of my journey is going to go in this little itty bitty space. And I do it in pencil first. Myla is so sweet and cuddly. Dog sitting her is a pleasure. Just simple and sweet. I go over it with my journaling markers and then I erase the pencil very carefully. Sorry for the head. My camera's in a different position than it normally is. I need the date, so I just write 2018 right underneath the XOXO. Kind of tidy up just a tad. And here's some live close-ups. You can see the purplish color of the spray. It's going to focus. There you go. There's the journaling. You can see the ripped cork, but in the in the end, it doesn't matter. And that is it. I want to thank you for watching. Bye. You'll get some close-ups at the end. Be sure to check out Eileen's page. I'll link it below. Till next week. <laughs>